On this segment, we'll be giving you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to change your headlight, signal light, tail lights on your vehicles. We will tell you what size of replacement balls are needed and what tools are required for this application. The most important part of any service or work you do to your vehicle is to use the proper tools and work easily and not force anything. Watch the video carefully and follow the step-by-step -step instructions. Review the video as many times as you need to be sure and confident in your ability. With that, let's get started with today's application. From us here at Auto Body Tips, thank you and enjoy the video. The tools we'll be using to inspect the lights on the PT Cruiser is a fiber stick or something to pry with and a T30 Torx screwdriver. For our headlight on the PT Cruiser, we use a 9006 XS slash S low beam bulb, a 9005 X slash S high beam, and a 3157 double filament amber for the headlight. For our tail light, we're going to use two 3157 clear snapping bulbs. On this peak T Cruiser, the three bulbs we have to inspect don't come off from the front. So in the back side, inside the splash shield, there's a trim panel that has to be removed for our inspection plate. So give us access to our bulbs and take a look. This is our access panel for our light bulbs for on the PT Cruiser's uh, splash shield. So let's go ahead and remove that and get at those bulbs. Gently pry on it in the front here. Takes it off and pull it out. Set that aside and get after those bulbs. With our panel off, it gives us access to our high beam, our low beam bulb, and our park signal light. Let's go ahead and remove our high beam bulb and take a look at it. With our hand in the back of the headlamp assembly, grab hold of the high beam bulb. Use the front of the headlight as a visual reference so you know where you are and gently turn that counterclockwise and out. Our high beam bulb here is a 9005 SX-S bulb. This is removed by prying in between the bulb and the connector and then wiggling the connector off. This bulb is still good, so let's go ahead and reconnect that. Wipe your bulb off, just make sure it's clean. And reinstall. With the bulb securely back in place, it can really only go in one position. Once it's in, go ahead and secure it in by turning it. Now on to our low beam bulb. Grab it on the back of the bulb. Turn counterclockwise and wiggle out. Let's have a look at our low beam bulb. This bulb is a 9006 X/S. Let's go ahead and remove that. Same as our high beam on the back side. Support the clip back and pull. This bulb is also good, so let's go ahead and reinstall that bulb. Click it back into place. Remember to clean the bulb off so no grease or oil gets on it from your fingers. And place it back into the housing. Using the front of the headlight as a visual reference, put your bulb in, support it, then turn it. It can really only go in one way, and once you feel it snug and tight, you know it's in right. Let's take a look at our signal light bulb. Support it from the back, turning counterclockwise and gently wiggling it. This signal light is the amber clicking style. All we have to do is grab hold of the signal light bulb and gently rock it out. This bulb is 4157 bulb, amber, double filament, and it's good as well. So let's go ahead and click it back in and reinstall our signal light. Always remember to clean the bulb off first and reinstall. Now that we looked at our headlights and inspected our bulbs, we're going to reinstall the cover for the back of the splash shield and have a look at our tail lights. On the inside cover, we first have to click these two little tabs on top of the splash shield before we can install. 
So gently slip it in. Really goes only one way and push into place. For the tail light on our PT Cruiser, we only have to remove the one T30 screw. So let's go ahead and remove the screw and take out our assembly. Take the screw out, set it aside. With our screw out, we can then wiggle our tail light assembly out. With our tail lamp assembly now out, we can go ahead and remove the bolts and take a look at them. First we'll do our brake light, grab hold of it, turn counterclockwise and remove. This is one of the 3157 bolts. This one's in good shape so let's go ahead and reinstall. It's just a matter of lining it up with the slots inside and turn it back in. As well with our park signal light, same procedure, support it, turn out and remove. This is the other 3157. It's also good, so we can go ahead and reinstall it. Now that we inspected our bulbs and ensured they're in good shape, let's go ahead and reinstall our tail light. It's a matter of going in slowly, finding slots where it goes in, and pushing. Hold it in place and reinstall your T30 screw. You just want to snug the bolt in, just so it's nice and snug, not over tightened because you might crack the housing. And there we are. Hopefully we saved you a bit of money to do the job yourself instead of having taken it to an expensive mechanic or a boss shop to do the job. You can do it yourself.